Hi friends, I am setting up this A Hope Gordon hydroponic system with a transparent bowl for the next experiment. It already proved that we can grow radishes successfully in this A Hope Gordon, which also almost confirms that we can grow any lettuce and any leafy green vegetables successfully in this garden. I am going to stretch it a little bit and I am going to try growing cucumbers this time. I realized that this video ended up being so long but I put a lot of tips to grow cucumbers successfully in hydroponics. So if you have time and if you are interested, I request you to watch this video entirely. I have a Isni cucumber growing in this Aero Garden Bounty Basic. Now I am going to take a small cutting from this plant and start it in a Hope Garden. There are multiple young branches. I am going to pick anything. I am just going to cut it here. Alright, I got this cutting. Now I am going to place it in a hope garden. I am going to remove all the bottom leaves and these young cucumbers. I am going to clean it and make it ready. Alright, the cucumber cutting is ready. Always take the cutting right below the node. This is where the roots are coming. So if you can cut below the nodes like this or this, the roots will start forming from this node and this node so that the plant will establish really fast. The roots won't develop between the nodes. So if you cut it here and here, this stem will never develop roots. The roots will only come from the nodes. So make sure you are carving the nodes in the water. I already prepared the pod. I am using my homemade collars. I have a separate video about making our own collar with the throwaway material. Please find the link in the description below if you are interested. So I am going to use this cloning collar. I am going to insert the cutting into this cloning collar making sure the node is touching the water then place it into the pod I have some covers I am going to use them now I am going to place it that's it this garden is ready with one cucumber cutting. Now I am going to add the water and I will make sure the cutting is touching the water and the node, especially the bottom node is completely sinking in the water. Actually I just changed my mind and I decided to put this node also into the water. That way the chances of developing the root is more and also faster. So I am going to keep it like this. The two nodes are at the bottom. So I am going to make sure these two nodes are sinking in the water. Alright, this is much better. Okay. The beauty with this transparent system is, I can already see the bottom node is touching the water already. I just need to add a little bit more water so that that node will completely sink into the water. But I am going to add water all the way to 3.5 liters. Alright, now I added 3.5 liters of water. Now the bottom node is completely sinking into the water and the second node from the bottom is barely touching the water. That is good enough to start developing the roots. Since I am starting 
with the cutting instead of seeds i am going to add the nutrition right away i am going to use aerogode nutrition throughout this grow cycle and i use 4 ml for every 1 liter of water just to keep it simple i think at the beginning we can manage with 2 to 3 ml of nutrition for every 1 liter of water and we can increase it as the plants are growing but I don't want to get into so much complication. I'll keep it simple. So I will simply stick to 4 ml for every 1 liter of water. I'm sure this is a little bit of more nutrition, but I'm pretty sure cucumber plant can adjust to this and can be very happy. Since I added water to 3.5 liters, I'm going to add 14 ml of nutrition to this garden. That's 10 ml. And another 4 ml, total 14 ml. Basically, 4 ml for every 1 liter of water. This garden is all set and good to go. It's day 19. The plant is doing excellent. Very good development of root system. I see two flowers fully opened up today. Here is one and here is the other one. There are a lot of flower boards. And the stem is growing really nice. Now that the plant has enough flower boards, the best thing I always do is pinch off the top so that I can stop the growth of this stem. So the plant will stop growing itself and it will start focusing on developing the cucumbers. So just go to the top of the vine and pinch it off. Why do I do this? Because I want to stop the growth of this plant and I want this plant to start focusing on developing the cucumbers. So if the plant keep on growing, it takes a lot of energy and it won't be able to distribute the energy to the flower boards or the baby cucumbers. It's day 24. The plant is coming excellent. I see two cucumbers showing excellent progress. They definitely crossed their baby stage and uh, they are getting big. In fact, here is another one. Looks like there are three cucumbers showing progress and there are more baby cucumbers and the plant is still flowering. So it is all going very good. I see there are some older leaves that are getting spoiled. I am going to remove these older leaves. And I also see some side growth coming up here. But that is being blocked by this huge leaf. So I am going to remove some of the older leaves. And make sure the younger growth is getting the light. I also see that the water level dropped below 2.5 liters. So I am going to add some water. I already added nutrition this water in uh, 5 ml per liter ratio so i'm going to add this water and bring the water level up a little bit all right i removed three older leaves now it is looking a little better and the younger growth is getting the light and we can see the cucumbers nicely here so this is going excellent so far it's day 31 the plant is coming excellent and look at this there are nice cucumbers growing here two nice cucumbers and two more coming up here that's really nice the plant is still producing lots of baby cucumbers but i don't think they can survive so i'm going to remove all these baby cucumbers there is no point keeping them while four cucumbers are growing already on the plant and i also see one side branch here that is also growing very nice so it's all going very well i just removed two baby cucumbers here and i also removed two older leaves now everything i have on this plant is fresh and healthy it's day 32 the cucumbers are growing excellent they are very healthy and these are the younger cucumbers they are also showing good progress the plant is also doing very well lots of healthy growth and the side branch is also coming very nice the plant is still flowering that's really good so everything is going very well it's day 39 two cucumbers are ready 
they are ready to harvest this is pretty big and it just started changing the color so it's perfect time to harvest this cucumber so i'm harvesting my first cucumber from this plant it's perfect size and perfect time it's day 42 one more cucumber is ready to harvest and i am harvesting it this is the second one i see two more cucumbers coming up that's really nice and there is a lot of flowering there are a lot of new flowers the more we harvest the more the plants will produce so it's better to harvest early on and uh, keep it aside instead of keeping them on the plant it's day 45 the third cucumber from this plant is growing nice and here is the fourth one now they picked up the growth look at all these beautiful fresh flowers wow a lot of them now this plant has two vines they are growing pretty long so i'm going to cut these vines and uh, control the growth of this plant so here is another vine that is also growing very far from the garden so i'm going to cut these vines and uh, control the growth of this plant it already has a bunch of female flowers all over the plant so that's well enough i don't need any more growth on this plant all i need is cucumbers it's day 57 the plant took little time but the third cucumber from this plant is ready to harvest this is very well developed it's perfect size and ready to harvest the fourth cucumber is still looking little young but it is getting ready i see very good development on few more cucumbers here there's one here and looks like some of them are showing a little bit of progress so it is going uh, pretty good so far last uh, two weeks i forgot to maintain this plant this plant ended up with so many flowers this is one of the reasons for the productivity issues so i'm going to cut the tops of all these vines and uh, remove some of these baby cucumbers if the plant has so many baby cucumbers it gets so much stress to distribute energy to all these cucumbers with that nothing will really produce and it already has two cucumbers growing so there is a lot going on with this plant that's why the productivity is not that good at this point so once i remove a couple of uh, tops and a couple of baby cucumbers i'm sure i will see a lot of progress look at all these cucumbers they are showing very good progress all these going to survive if i immediately take down some tips and some baby cucumbers i just need to reduce the load on this plant that's all we need to do now i am harvesting this third cucumber from this plant now this fourth cucumber will get the benefit of growing it's day 70 the plant is still doing great and producing nice cucumbers i saw a little bit of surprising results this time look at these two cucumbers this is the fourth cucumber from this plant and this is the fifth one and both are matured and ready to harvest but if we compare the size of these two cucumbers one is half the size of the other one the reason is this plant was heavily loaded with lots of baby cucumbers and lots of long vines i did not do my best in terms of maintenance so the plant loaded with the baby cucumbers and that kind of degraded both the productivity and the development of cucumbers during that time this cucumber was maturing and it got stuck at this size and this cucumber came after i did all the maintenance basically cut all the tops of the vines and removed the baby cucumbers basically i took the load from this plant after that this cucumber took the growth and it really reached to a huge size this is really huge anyway i am seeing some cucumbers and they are growing really nice and look at this this is the sixth cucumber on this plant and it started picking up the growth so it's not stopping anywhere so nothing to be worried about the plant is staying healthy and producing some cucumbers and i see the growing vines still on the plant so nothing to be worried about as soon as i harvest these two cucumbers this one really pick up the growth and it will reach to the standard size so i'm going to harvest these two cucumbers today as i harvest these cucumbers 
Let me also measure the weight of each cucumber and see how big they are. Starting with the fourth cucumber on this plant. Alright, now I am putting it on the scale and see it is 3.3 .3 ounce. Now let's harvest the fifth cucumber and check the weight. Look at this, it is 7 ounce. It is exactly double the size of the other cucumber. That's really wonderful. 7 ounce cucumber, that's the beauty of Isni cucumbers. It's day 77. This cucumber is almost ready and I see two more cucumbers showing a little bit of progress. Let's see if these are going to survive. And this plant is coming up with lots of new development. Look at all these new leaves and lots of new flowers. So this plant is not stopping anywhere. It's day 82. The cucumber is perfectly ready. It is very well in size and it just started changing the color. So this is the right time to harvest this cucumber. This plant is not stopping anywhere. Look at all these fresh and excellent growth along with lots of new flower birds. These flower birds are drying up, they are not showing any progress. It is all because this matured cucumber on the plant, this is taking up all the energy. But as soon as I harvest this cucumber, I am sure some of these baby cucumbers will pick up the growth. With that, I will stop the video here. I don't think there will be anything new that I can show in this video. It will be very routine from this point. The plant will continue to come up with a new growth and uh, lots of flower buds. Some of them will survive and turn into a matured cucumbers like this. I'll just keep harvesting. One thing I recently noticed with many experiments, many cucumber experiments is the plant will produce lots of cucumbers at the beginning and as it is aging out, it will degrade the yield. So nothing to be worried about, just give it some time. It will continue to produce more cucumbers. In case you don't see any growth or any yield after some time, just take a fresh cutting from the plant and start over the garden with that cutting. Just within 30 days, the cutting will establish and it will start producing cucumbers. That's what I have been doing for a long time. I always give some time to the plant and if it won't produce any new cucumbers, I'm just going to give up on the plant, take the cutting and start over. That will be much better. This garden is working out very well. I have been enjoying the growth of the plant along with its root system. By the way, let me show you the root system. Look at this. This bowl is filled with root system. Of course, that is not what we want. We want cucumbers. Anyway, just showing for the fun. Look at this. We can clearly see the root system through this bowl, through this transparent bowl. That's what I have been watching and enjoying the entire growth of the plant. So it's really a lot of fun. By the way, I'm currently seeing this system on Amazon under $50, which is an excellent price for this excellent hydroponic system. I have been loving this system for a long time. You can find the link to this product in the description below if you are interested. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.